Hey, Mark Rose here at the Mid-Atlantic Nostalgia Con 2019 in Baltimore with the debonair, the good-looking Mr. Russ Tamlin. How you doing, brother? I'm doing very well, thank you. You're looking good, man. You, but fans are out there. They're loving you. We've got people in the room loving you. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Russ paid them to do that. No. Dude. You're at the convention. First off question, how do you like coming out to shows and meeting fans one-on-one, -on -one, sir? Well, um, I actually thought it was going to be like the worst time I ever had. <laughs> but uh, my philosophy is the positive power of negative thinking. <laughs> and so what happens is, is uh, if I think something's going to be awful and it turns out even to be mediocre, I say, well, that wasn't bad. Yes, sir. If I think this is going to be great and it's mediocre, I go, that was awful. <laughs> that's a great so, attitude. That's my philosophy. That's a know? good one. The fans love you, man. <laughs> now, when you started out acting, there was got to be a bug in you, like, do I want to do this? What really got you to want to be an actor? Well, I, quite frankly, I think it was my father. My father's name was Eddie Tamblin, and he was on Broadway in a bunch of Broadway sure. shows. Yes, and sir. He was in the original Good News on Broadway and Follow Through, and he did uh, a couple of movies in the in the 30s, uh, The Sweetheart of Sigma Chi. And, wow. And so I remember first seeing him... Uh, on the screen, my mother took me when I was like about 10, and my father was like huge yeah. up there on the screen. Right. So I think that probably really, uh, that really got me started. Yes, sir. In, in, in thinking about it. And, and then the rest is history, because you've the done such a... history, like, you know, 90 <laughs> movies later. <laughs> right, I know. Well, I've heard a lot of people asking a lot of questions about films and different things like that. One question I have is, if you were not an actor, is there a career you would have done besides dancing and uh, acrobatics? And you, you've got the moves. But is there something else you might have wanted to do? Well, it would definitely okay. have been uh, in the arts. I, uh, writing, I think. Yes, sir. I even found a, a, a newspaper article when I was in the army. I said, I wish I'd have, you know, I, I would really like to just write. Yes, sir. Go someplace and, and write. Nice, <laughs> nice. Tell me about the branch of service and. Uh, because well, I'm ex-military too. Oh well, I was in the army in uh, in Lawton, Oklahoma, and uh, I was first uh, in the entertainment uh, section of uh, there, yes. but I got kicked out. Yes, sir. And, uh, because I was such a wise ass. <laughs> and, uh, and what happened is quiet on the set. <laughs> and I went to uh, it. Actually, happened. I was on. Uh, tour for Tom Thumb. Yes. And when Tom Thumb was just coming out at that time, and so I, I took my 30-day leave and I went on tour, went on tour with uh, Tom Thumb. And from Sydney and I wore my uniform. Nice. And uh, I was in, I forget where it was, I think it was in Washington, D.C. Okay. In a room with, with some uh, uh, newspaper people and they were all interviewing me like you are now. Now yes, I sir. can't get in trouble anymore. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I can't. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to get to no, no, no paparazzi, no trouble. No. So, so I, I did the interview and, and, and everybody was saying goodbye and they were putting all their equipment away. And uh, this one guy put his equipment away and everything and he said, uh, he said so listen, tell me, tell me something. He says, you know, just off the record, he says, is, is, it, is it just still as awful as, <laughs> as it was when I was in? I said, oh, man. <laughs> and then I told him a story. I said, oh, they had me, and I was in entertainment. I'm in entertainment. I put on uh, fashion shows for sergeant's wives. And, you know, and I told him all this stuff. I said, it's just ridiculous. You know? <laughs> so uh, when I got, after the tour, I got back to the base and... Uh, the, uh, and I got a call to go in and, and see the, the, I think it was like the adjutant general oh, yeah, the, of yeah. Fort Sill. I thought, oh boy, they're going to give me That's an award. You know? <laughs> Say, what a great tour with a uniform and everything like that. And, uh, the, and he showed me, he said, I want to show you this. And it was a, a headline. It says, Russ Tamblin thinks the Army is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so... 
And I said, oh, well, da, da, ba, 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 ba. and uh, he said, no, don't worry about it. He Article said, 15. It probably was a joke while you were in, while you were in special services. So you're going to get to go and be in a, in a tank outfit. Oh, my God. And that's, that's when I went into a tank outfit as a, as a, as a tank operator. Unbelievable. Uh, and, um, you know, and I just, it was awful. Yeah. <laughs> in the winter, I mean, one time, of, one story when I was in, I was, uh, we were out on a field trip in the back of the woods, and, and, and it was, it had been snowing, it was freezing, and, and so we went out there and bilouacked, and I got put on, on uh, uh, watch. Uh, okay, day. yes, sir. And uh, so I was supposed to, like, dig a ditch. And uh, bivouac, gotta love it. Yeah, so I got to dig a ditch, you know, and sit there all night in this ditch. So I went out, and, and one of the one of the soldier guys says, "Oh, the thing to do is is just find a find a like a ditch that's full of stuff that that's that's already you know yeah, had yeah, thrown been, their junk yes, their yeah. junk in." Sure. So um, I found this. I found the hole. I said, "Ah, this is it." So, you know, I dug this stuff, I dug a bunch of stuff out, and I jumped in the hole and waited, and I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden I feel something on my hand, and I, what the hell is that? And I grab my flashlight and flash down. I'm in a nest of trenches. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God! You laugh now, but you, you thought I jumped a lot in movies? You should have seen me jump out of that, that pole. So that's where all those West Side Story moves came from. You flashed I back. I literally flew. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we love you for so many, Tom Thumb, so many things people remember you for. Personally, all these people too, West Side Story. How did you get the role in that? How was that approachable to you? And I mean, were you the main pick or how did that, how did that come about? Well, the way it happened is uh, I was under contract at MGM and uh, I always wanted to do from the Army when I finally got, I finally worked my way back into, uh, uh, back into special services into the sports section and, uh, and that's when, uh, let's see, what was I going to say, I lost my train, <laughs> I I lost my train of thought already. I do it all been a long day, my <laughs> No, no, I know. Look, how many times have we, I took care of a guy with dementia, look at me, I'm like, so, so, oh, so getting the, yeah, getting so, the role in. So when I was on tour, when I was in New York, I went to see West Side Story, the play, and I bought the album, uh, the Broadway album, and I really, really wanted to play Tony. Wow. And so when I got back in West Side Story, they, when I heard they were going to make a movie and everything, uh, and I, I had an agent, and, I, and they said, uh, would you like to... Uh, and he said, would you, you want to test for it for the part of Tony? And I said, yes, absolutely. Right. So I went and I tested and I tested with a bunch of actresses that were up for the part of... Uh, of Maria? Uh, Maria. Or, okay. And I tested with uh, um, Anna Marie Albergetti and... Uh, wow. A, a, a bunch of different actresses. In fact, one of the people I tested with was Mickey Callan. And Mickey Callan played Riff on Broadway. Yes, sir. He did. And so... Um, I te tested with him, only he played Riff in the test, and I played oh, Tony. Tony, yeah. So he said, he says, you know, I haven't done a lot of films, and you have. He said, can you give me an advice? Yeah. Yes, so I gave him advice, you know, and I said, okay, well, remember, it's not the stage, because on the stage you have to project a lot. I said, in film, they can pick up, you know, a blink. Yeah, a minute, uh, yeah, yes, and a sir. close up. So I said, you know, you have to do this and that. So I gave him all his advice, and uh, then I and so I went back, went home, and uh, like maybe uh, three or four weeks later, I kept checking with my agent, how's it going? I get the part of Tony, yet, and he finally back. He said, "Well, you did not get the part of Tony, but they've offered you the part of Riff." So um, outstanding. Yeah. So yeah. I had to, uh, and 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 when did you talk to George? Yes, sir. And find out what... I can look forward to that. Find out how he did it. So I got the part of Riff. Outstanding. The entire film. And in fact, let me tell yes, you something please. else. I've made, I don't know, 
80, 90 movies or something like that, really a lot. I have not gotten anything that I've ever tested for, including <laughs> West Side Story. Story. Yeah. Everything has been offered. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy cool, but crazy. Isn't that crazy? How long was the entire run of filming and shooting? I, I interviewed Robert Wise, and he just a great guy. Just oh, a great guy. Beautiful man. Yes, sir. Really, really cool. I bet. I bet. Had What about Jerome Robbins? Did you work close with him or no? Did you ever get to see Jerome Robbins? Um, of course I worked with yeah. him all the time. He, I thought. The, the, the deal was is that Robert Wise would, would direct all of the... Uh, Dramatic scene. Yes, sir. And that Jerry Robbins would direct, would choreograph, choreograph, choreography, yeah. sure, and and do that. So yes, that sir. was the basic. Uh, that was the ba basic premise. So that's great. That's so great. I worked with him, and um, he was a pain in the ass. I bet. <laughs> One question, and I'll I'll lead off because we'll 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 wrap this up in a second because this is the end of the day, and some of us have to eat. So yes. Um, for you, for um, for West Side Story, I I gotta ask. Is there an anecdote, a story, a little something that you can tell us that no one else has heard about West Side Story? Good, bad, no, up, I've, down? I mean, I've, t I've told you about really... every story that, that <laughs> I know. But I can tell you a couple of good ones. I'd like to hear briefly because I know you want to eat. At the premiere of West Side Story in London, I did travel around afterwards to show it to everybody. And uh, I went to... Um, the, at the premiere, it was uh, Queen Elizabeth came, and, uh, wow. and everybody had to stand in line to meet her, you know, and, and we were all there, and uh, I met her, and, and you know, you have to wait, she comes down the line, and you shake her hand, and I just remember how beautiful she looked, white, and it's, I couldn't take my eyes off the, her crown, too, Wow, it was like really yes, beautiful sir. at the premiere, and so then they let us up to the uh, royal box and and uh, by chance they happened to seat me right behind her and I mean there was a little bit of space <laughs> yeah but I sat right behind her wow and and my old friend Peter Sellers from the what a great guy in, yeah in Tom Thumb was sitting next to me and so and so we were talking a little bit and and he's a very serious guy is he always his character always came out, uh, he always liked to play a character. So we're sitting there and now the lights are starting to go down and the uh, the music is starting to play, you know, the overture. Yes, sir. The beginning overture. Peter Sellers sort of leaned <laughs> over and he sort of whispered, but loud enough so I could hear, and he said, Lady, would you mind taking your crown off? <laughs> 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 yeah, and I, and I couldn't watch oh the movie. My God. I couldn't think any more because I, I looked at her, you know, to see if she was. I, I thought we were going to all end up in the tower of London. You know? And uh, oh my God! And she didn't blink. She just she didn't, just stoic, stoic. Did not did not move. And uh, I couldn't wait till the, the the movie was over. And I finally I. I grabbed Peter and Sell I said, down. Peter, how could you say that to the Queen of England? We're told in front, you know, we're told to, to not speak yeah. to unless we're spoken to, you know, and you call her your Royal Highness, you know. I said, how could you say that? He says, oh, he says, I go, I go to, to, the, to the palace for lunch all the time. And he says, he says, then she'll say, that was very funny. He said, that's a good one. All right, yeah. you got one more, you said. One more West Side Story. Uh, one more West Side Story story. <laughs> one more West Side Story story. <laughs> yeah, you said you had two little antidotes, and okay. I want to I hear what else that you really enjoyed. Bonnie, what was my second antidote? What's the second antidote on the West Side Story? Throw it out, please. Coming around the corner a year later. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, here's one that'll make you want to watch the movie again. <laughs> that... Uh, in the beginning of the movie, I guess after I sang the Jet song, or, and, and, and we're walking, and I'm walking, and then the second shot is we're coming, we go around the corner, and anybody comes up to me and says, hey, I want to be in the Jets, you know, yeah. let me be in the Jets, and I say, beat it, whatever beat it is. Beat it, beat it, yeah. Well, that piece of film 
didn't turn out. It got, and we shot it right in the beginning of the movie. And it wasn't until a year later, when the movie was over, that they reshot a couple of things, and they reshot that movie of coming around the corner. So it's a direct cut. You just see it's going here and here, except everyone is a year older. Whoa! <laughs> Wow! So when you watch it the next time... Wow! Really We're all going to put it on tonight! <laughs> I want to ask you a little bit about your book. You've got a book coming out. Ah. Please promote your book. Oh, if I didn't talk about that, my wife would kill me. Uh, don't, don't kill him. <laughs> Let's talk about the book, please. Yes, I have, a, I have a, a, a memoir that I've been writing for like 20 years. Uh, little by little, not you know constantly, but whenever I had the chance to write it. And uh, it's called Dancing on the Edge. Wow. And uh, nice title. Correct, Shun. Is it uh -oh. different now? Dance on the Edge. Dance, Dance, Dance on the Edge. Dance. Yeah. Okay, Dance, Dance on, on the, the Edge it. by Ross Tamblin. <laughs> That's because there was a, a television series for a while called Dancing on the Edge. So it's Dance on the Edge. Good deal. I can't even remember my own. Name <laughs> Tell us a little bit about it and when it'll come out and how can well, we promote it. It, it? it won't come out till next year. Okay. And uh, we're putting photos in there now. Good. And it covers uh, my life. Which yes, sir. Is a long, many, many, many movies. Many moons and, and movies. Lots yes, sir. Of pictures from. You know, working in Samson and Delilah uh, with Cecil B. Mill to unbelievable. Working with uh, you, you name it. Yeah, man. what a great with, career. Uh, everybody. A, uh, it's going to be like this thick. Yeah. <laughs> You've got so many stories and so many I've films. Got a lot of them, and uh, and that's it. I'm I'm looking forward to the, to the book coming out. We we can't wait. Uh, <laughs> so many things that you can. I mean, I could sit here for next hour, but the tape will run out and everybody will kill me. And my voice will be gone. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. When it comes out, please give me the information. Do you have a oh, website or anything right now we can promote? Or get, get any website right line. now? Yes. Uh, can I? Say it again. RustTamblin.com. Rustamblin you can't yeah. go wrong with that. God, I hope you can remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Russ Tamblin. Really appreciate it. And when you're a jet, oh, you're, you're a, a jet, jet all the way. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Thank you. And there's my friend. And there's George. Oh, my God.